hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to learn how to display relationship in data table with infium laravel generator i hope you know how to set up yadra data table with infium generator but if not please see that tutorial first link given in description i have already set up admin lt template with infium generator with yadra data table so let's create one scaffold with relationship let's create category scaffold first so we can use this category in post now category generated successfully let's open in browser so run server php artisan so open this in browser I specified here category ID as a field name, uh, database type integer, unassigned, and given foreign key of categories table. Also, HTML type selectable, so we can automatically display a drop down of category with name and its value as a ID. So, let's create. specify now because we need to make some change in 
our database oh, sorry our migration so specify no here go into migration and make minor change you can see here foreign key automatically add in mm, migration now you can specify here on delete action cascade on update cascade so you can do it here now let's run migration php artisan migrate you can see here post created let's start server using php artisan saw command let's refresh the browser you can see here post let's create one post you can see here php and category drop down so you no need to do anything for this and you can see here first post displaying in table but in category id field you can see here category id displaying instead of category name we want to display category name here this is our tutorial so let's do it I declare here belongs to because post belongs to one category so it's one to one relationship that's why I declare belongs to category and specify here foreign key name is a category ID now we need to edit data table of post so let's open post data table first you can found inside data tables here we need to update query so specify with and specify here category relationship and now we need to update get columns here we need to specify category column and also we need to specify column here now we need to give some property here because we are displaying category name so you can use column method of yadra data table and specify here in array you need to specify title and data
end name but you need to provide this in array so let's specify in array give column header name category name specify data here in data you need to specify category dot name same thing you need to do here name and specify category name so you can specify header name data and name for data table you just need to modify this get columns function for displaying relationship data let's refresh the browser you can see here php displaying instead of id so it's very easy thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe for more video please like share and comment thank you